Why, hello everyone, and welcome to the stream. This is Otaku Shobo. Today is Sunday, March 24th, 2024. Hello. Welcome. I had a Mrs. Cat, but she's, she's left. She's run off already. Mr. Cat is, uh... He's like on the other side of the the entry door. There's a different, there's another stack of boxes just outside the door to the office, and uh, we usually like keep our roll of paper towels, the the like next rolls of paper towels in that spot, so that we can just like from the kitchen look straight down, and we can see whether or not we have any more spare. Well, the cats have claimed that spot now has a bed then that's where ollie is right now so yeah that's that that's a thing um so what what updates what 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 to what to say as the uh for like four and a half minutes for twitch to go through the like ads uh which start in three uh let's see here 3d printing is continuing the the sales continue actually i'm relieved that over the past uh couple days here for this for this weekend i that i have actually had sales think things were a little slow there for uh, for a, a couple of days but it seems that sales have returned uh, i currently currently have five packages that only to go out five items that have sold uh, those will go out tomorrow in the mail In particular, I sold I sold this guy one one of these. Yeah, this uh the sixteen slot version of this one behind me. So what what's back there is nine, and this is the sixteen. And I'm very glad to actually have sold one of these. Yeah, that makes me happy. Sold on eBay. So everything else is smaller. Surprised I sold a Nintendo DS 50 slot uh, cartridge tray. That was surprising. I don't usually sell the 50 slot version of that, but hey, it sold. And I had to print it. And speaking of printing, my K1 Max, you know, this this guy right here, that that guy... The one that has the, the camera attached to it. That one had a firmware update yesterday, which uh, surprised me a little bit. So I did their, I did the firmware update, uh, which unfortunately means that I have to essentially reinstall all of the uh, like extra features that I put on it through root access. Uh, the I use I use fluid. For the uh, like web interface, that stays. That that doesn't go anywhere. Fluid fluid is still there with uh, with Moonraker. Uh, but and like the whole of the Clipper installation, that all stays. What doesn't stay is like the macros. The macros don't stay, and other additive features uh, like uh, like. Camp K A M P, uh, Clipper Advanced Meshing and Purging, that doesn't stay unfortunately. So all that has to be like reinstalled every single time I update the firmware. Yay! So what changed in the uh, in the firmware for the for that printer? Um, bug fixes, number one, quote quote unquote bug fixes. Uh, but also the like highlight feature. Apparently is, uh, well, people noticed two things, but uh, the, the highlight feature is they've changed how the printer uh, retracts for filament uh, changing. Uh, so in order to change the filament, you have to like actually go to the printer and on its screen, go into <laughs> settings, not really settings, but you have to, you have to navigate to uh, a 
page that has extrude and retract as options, and you have to retract. Once it retracts, then you can pull out the uh, filament. That's that's how it is supposed to work. Well, previously, its retraction was very prone to leaving a glob behind uh, that was somewhat in the gears, and it was basically like a 50-50 chance on whether or not when you pull the line out that it would keep the glob with it or it would break off in the gears or somewhere in the uh, tube along the way because there's a there's a big uh, tube that connects to the top of the extruder and uh, when you pull pull the filament out and pull it through the uh, through the filament sensor that basically the sensor that turns off the print if it runs out of filament it's a run out sensor well that little glob at the end could get stuck in any of these things in the sensor and the tube itself could just fall off or in the gears and if it falls off and if it like breaks off and, and it's in the gears still well then you could end up having to take apart the assembly to get it cleared out so the new firmware changes how the extrusion hap the extrusion the retraction happens uh and there's no glob anymore uh, it, it seems that they pulse it now and force that little that little piece up and into the end of the filament so it actually ends up the end of the filament is now like pretty flat and a little little bit widened but you trim off the end anyway when you put it back in so yeah they managed to fix it in just how it does the retraction mechanically and that was great and they also changed the default temperature for the uh, retraction and extrusion as well it used to it used to heat up to 240 celsius but now it does 220 which is interesting to say the least it used it used to be 220 it, it used to be 240 now it's 220 and the other uh, baseline thing that changed with the printer is now it uh, probes a 6x6 six six grid on the bed rather than a 5x5 five five when determining the uh, the bed mesh calibration. Uh, that That's like compensation for the surface not being completely perfectly flat. So it uh, it has to it has to probe the bed to determine where it's higher or lower and previously it was doing that over a 5x5 five five grid spread out over the over the bed. Now it's 6x6, six six, so it's a little bit higher resolution. Uh, however, that doesn't really matter all that much because my I've done uh, some additions with root access that uh, had already changed it to be 6x6 six six, fundamentally. <laughs> like it, it had already been a 6x6 six six grid uh, for the bed mesh calibration, but I'm running... KAMP, the adaptive mesh and purge, uh, which that detects on a per item basis what you print and then, as it says, adapts and only probes in the general area the size of the thing that you're printing. Uh, and it... Uh, it works for me. It makes it so that it's faster to probe. So, and it's faster to make a smaller localized mesh uh, on the bed. So it it can get printing a bit quicker that way. Uh, that being said, I would I would probably rather it just not probe every print. But I see why, and it's not like I really need to save that time at the moment i'm not i'm not in a situation where i have to run the printer 24 7 basically so realistically speaking the amount of time it takes to do a print doesn't actually matter all that much uh, particularly if that period of time of the probing is not the time in which it's really using power all that much so Anyway, that's 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 what I want to say. That the the thing updated it 
it seems to be better. There, there were some reports as well that it seems like their built-in vibration compensation is also working a little bit better, but I, I just I have even better versions of that through root access installed. I wish that the printer behind me, this this Anycubic Cobra 2 Plus, had root access and I could do all these things with it, but I don't. Oh well. Alright. Game. Gamer. Gamer. Time time to talk gamer. Factorio is a game that I have been playing a lot over the past couple of days, as it turns out. I, I have had the game running quite a bit for, for quite a while, uh, and there are a number of things that I have done that uh, we need to talk about. So, first things first, what did we do last time? Well, last time we met, I got logistics science. I set up Cotton Guts and was able to get all the way through Logistic Science, uh, and we started to accrue Logistic Science. So that was a major milestone. I automated rails, was on recommendation that I should do so early, just to start filling up a depot, and like, yeah, I did that. Uh, since then, I've added a few more things uh, to this line, uh, particularly barrels, signals eating all of my circuits but hey i've got like 11k each now uh which should be at least semi-sufficient for the moment uh, and also water fill over here water fill over here hello Mit mr cat has joined me hello ollie ollie has joined me See, you can jump straight to this desk. I know you can jump straight to this desk. You need to do that more often. You need to go straight to the desk. He's been in this bad habit lately of not jumping to the desk, but jumping onto the arm of my chair to try to jump onto me. And jumping onto me, like onto my stomach, just straight from the floor to my stomach without me knowing that he's there. He just jumps on it and I'm like, get off of me. Just immediate response, leave. Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't be doing that. Because particularly last night, I got a, I got poked with his back claws. Because I had my arm underneath this uh, arm of the chair. I had it down on the arm of the chair. And he, he jumped up and his back claws were slipping off the edge of the arm. And straight into my arm. Yeah. Ollie Cat. He wants he wants to be in my lap. He want he wants lap, but the, the microphone is in the way. Yes, the microphone is in the way, Mr. Kitty. Yeah. So uh so I got water fill. I got some of this other stuff automated. Yeah, you're sniffing me now. You're sniffing my arm. Oh God. Uh yeah, this may take a little bit to go over all of the things that I did last time. Uh, or between streams. So, um, more power. Uh, yeah. I guess step one is gonna be this. So, techs. Techs have happened. A lot of techs have happened. All of the Omni uh, techs currently available have happened. Yeah, Mr. Sniffies. Yeah. Yeah, baby boy. All of the current Omni techs have been taken, which means that I now have improved ratios. I now make more with less overall, and it has made tar very viable through through Omnite and through Omnic Acid. Uh, extremely viable through Omnite and Omnic Acid. So this this little thing here makes uh, like 115 overall. I had originally built it when it was making 100 uh, with an extra like building or two tacked on to it or three tacked on to it. Uh, but now it's, now it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a lot through, like, Omniston and stuff. It's actually really nice. It's actually really nice. This is the updated build for this. It's supposed to be 100, but it ends up 
being 115. Oh, now he's comfy on my chair. Now he's just on the chair. All right, fine. You can be on the chair, Mr. Cat. Uh, so it's 61.1 megawatts, of which the, a lot of that's from the two boilers here making the steam. Uh, yeah, it's great. It's, it's actually great. It's fine. This is actually a very, <laughs> quote-unquote, very efficient process for making tar, at least in comparison to other processes to get through tar. Uh, the, the megawatts are low-ish. It really ultimately depends on how you're getting the steam, but this is the easy way. Uh, so, I've of course, I've done it twice here. Here, I've done it twice. One, to get more creosote, because I needed more creosote, and the other was preparing for what we're doing today. The, the other was to get carbolic oil and naphthalene oil so that I could come here really early on and plonk down this. Now, how much stuff do you use? 10 and 50. Yikers. Um... Thirty and fifteen. They really want you to process the pitch, I think, but I don't want to deal with the uh, coke from that as well as the excess steam. So, because if because if I process the pitch here, I would end up with more naphthalene. It would be forty-four point eight and eleven point five. There's still, it's still not enough naphthalene per carbolic. It's, it's more carbolic than I need. And I would have to deal with 10.8 coke by doing that and provide 108 steam. Yeah, nah. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, so that makes 15. So that means I do need a two a U. Ba, ba. And there's organic solvent. Huzzah! We made the organic solvent now. Other things that I've done in between streams. I've set up landfill automation. Uh, in particular because it's using things that we've already made. And it's such a slow process to accrue the, uh, the stuff that I have decided that I would just do it uh, between streams. So that it could start accruing since it is going to take literally hundreds of hours for it to accrue any significant amount of stuff. So, this is making one per second with all of this infrastructure. With all of this infrastructure, this makes a whole of one. It's half of what it could be making. I will again complain that landfill is too expensive. I, I am once again complaining that landfill is too expensive. Uh, but anyway, in the base game. And in, in Pyblock, it's not, it's great. It's actually cheap by comparison. Frankly, I'd prefer just having the pie block recipe, but whatever. You know, nothing's actually stopping me from just installing PyBlock and then having all of the recipes from PyBlock available to me <laughs> with all of the recipe changes, but just a full map to work with. But I don't, I'm not going to do that. It makes things 
easier, actually. Significantly easier. Just like, duh, it makes landfill easier, but it also gives you access to just make stone from soil. This is new. Uh, this is power. So let's have a look, see at this power setup. I am using coal power plants now down here. I will state that this is extremely, extremely heavy on material cost for the infrastructure. Uh, but then again, it also makes like over 500 megawatts. So there is that versus this thing this thing with all of that infrastructure making like 300 it's 80 times 3.75 uh it is 300 megs 300 300 megawatts for this 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 unit per unit with like 80 steam engines 160 boilers 196 splitters etc so very much stuff this guy makes 5 times 118. Or 590. Close to double. Clo close to double. With significantly fewer entities overall. So this is coal power plants. Now, you do need molten salt, so I made molten salt. We've already made salt, so it's just making it molten. Uh, very, very easy process here. It's, this is something we've seen to make the salt before I've already done that. So, switching that up to molten, providing it with sufficient omnite to fuel the dang thing, as well as voiding for that. We now have, finally, a full stack, uh, or a full tank of extra molten salt here uh yeah at six and two-thirds items per second probably should add a another one have 10 per second uh this is a little overbuilt because i built this before i finished all of the uh omni techs right now i don't need seven to make 10 actually wait i do I did, apparently. I apparently did do this after. Alright, because we, we've got 12 into 9.9 .9 now instead of 12 into 7.2 on the majority of uh, the original ores that we could make. Uh, and then the new ores we could make, uh, it's at 7.2. Okay, so these coal power plants, uh, pretty expensive. Pretty, pretty expensive to make a single coal power plant. Uh, I've had to make 12. Twelve of them. Uh, on this particular arrangement. Uh, and then another eight heat exchangers. Uh, so 12 of these heats up 300 units of molten salt to hot molten salt. It takes eight heat exchangers to convert that 300 uh, into uh, pressurized steam, which is exactly enough, which is exactly enough for the five uh, high pressure turbines here. Actually, is it? Have I mathed wrongly? Five times 60 is 300. That makes more than 300. I, I made 300 here of this. I actually could add another turbine. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting 450. I'm getting 450 out of this. I could add a, I could add another, another two. Yeah, I could add set. I could have seven here.
I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm I'm gonna do that. Uh, so seven times one eighteen is eight hundred and twenty six megawatts. Yeah. Yeah, all that eight hundred and twenty six megawatts. Makes me happy. Uh, I'm not inclined to make another one of these, uh, even though I should make two more of these and decommission the other uh, power sources. But uh, for now, we'll I'll move on. Okay, other adjustments. I have added uh, quartz crushing at my petri dishes, my empty petri dishes. Uh, to set up additional molten glass. I've run the molten glass to the bus, uh, and I'm using that for extra glassware production. Uh, I actually need to go and I need to make more hot air at some point because my glassware, I switched to using hot air, and now I'm using all of my hot air. <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I have added things this thing oh glory yes this thing i put a picture of this on my discord this behemoth this unit this unit which i now have two of this unit this unit makes rubber from omnite no other outside inputs at all just rubber from omnite everything needed to make the rubber is made locally in the unit. Yeah. How much does it make? 0 0.2 per second. Point two. Which is how much latex it's making. Point two. Yeah, so take this build. This is the, this is for one. Uh, where's, I don't think I, I don't think I have it in this list here because I just did it by ear, basically, but yeah, point two. Zero, zero point two per second per unit. So I've got point four from this and another whatever amount from the original on the on the line uh it's given me uh more than i had is it a sufficient amount uh not not really maybe it looks like it's a sufficient amount yes actually it is it is at least somewhat semi sufficient for the moment for a uh, moment, anyway. All right. Uh, so that, I think, covers the main things. All, all the, like, really impactful things that I did between streams. So I think we can move on. I'm just going to go uh, hover over everything. There's probably been some adjustments to, like, more stuff in general. So more uh, native flora here, because I needed some more. Uh, more, ah, here. And in here, more methane. More methane and moon drops. More methane and moon drop. Uh, or formaldehyde, particularly. Make sure that I was making a bit more of that overall for my circuits to keep circuits going and such. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, just just continuing to scale on the back end. Uh, rubber being one of the biggest pains in the ass to scale, 
uh, and I'm glad that I have a unit that I can now just copy and paste, basically, anywhere I have access to Omnite, which is everywhere. Which is just everywhere. Now, the next biggest pain to scale would be batteries, but I seem to not need that right now. Uh, specifically, the manure for the melamine, etc. Uh, I did set up additional uh, solder. So I am making more of that, particularly for the rails. I was I was building some stuff to make sure that I have more rails going. Uh, the, the one thing that is limiting in here now is steel, uh, as well as circuits. Steel and circuits are like the two biggest things uh, for limiting me. But it's time to advance from where we were into the future. I am going to be terminating my bus very soon and transitioning into a bot-based mall fed by a rail system. This is going to take a very long time to do this transition uh, to the point where I may actually have to just cancel some streams because what we're going to be doing will be so brain dead and boring that it would actually just be a better use of my time to just not talk and think while doing it. But we shall see. We shall see. I'd rather not. I'd rather keep streaming and get through this. But uh, yeah, this is just going to take a while. And my, my points of focus for scaling will be on trying to make it happen faster. But in order to get there, I'm going to need two things. I'm going to need Niobium and I'm going to need Chromium. In particular, two, two new things I'm going to need. Fortunately, by getting the Niobium, I will have access to Niobium pipes, which is great. I'm going to be very, it's going to be very, very nice having Niobium pipes and access to Niobium pipes. Why do we need these two things? We need these two things so that I can automate the production of cargo bots. I need the Chromium so I can make Nichrome. Uh, and I need Niobium plates for these. Otherwise, we have everything else in here to make uh, the cargo Pinobots. We've been able to do the Constructo bots for a bit, but yeah, really, really what we need are cargo Pino bots. Uh, we need infinite of these, uh, and then infinite of every resource ever to automate the infrastructure production in the mall, particularly infrastructure related to rails. Well, first, infrastructure related to the continued production of robots and having robots build robots, but then from there, uh, rail stuff as well. And that's that's going to be the first things I do. Uh, also, Chromium makes medium power poles and Neobium will make big power poles. I've made sure to unlock these techs as well. Have I gotten... Yes, I have. Good. That is great. Uh, so I have picked up an alternative recipe for refined sin gas compared to what one normally would do in the game. Uh, so normally I would have to do activated carbon into sin gas or, uh, and sin gas for refined sin gas, but I now have access to this. Can I build a rectosol? Is the question. Yes, I can. Can I build the methanol canisters? Yes, I can. So I believe that means I can do this with current technology. If I can build a methanol re reactor, yes, and I can do that too. Thank God, okay. So for the Neobium, we're going to need to have organic solvent, hydrogen chloride, as well as refined syngas. We need the refined syngas to get the Neobium or process from crude Neobium uh, from Omnite. And then we would need the uh, hydrogen chloride, which needs lamps, uh, and the uh, organic solvent, which we've just made in order to process into plates effectively. So. 
that's fine. And then the chromium is very trivial, actually. It needs sin gas to process the crude ore into ore. Uh, and then we can just basically cast it. I mean, it's it's very simple to uh, produce. We have to we have to do it through chromite sand. That's right. We have to we have to crush it to grade one, uh, separate it into sand, and then give it limestone and sand castings and CO2. And there you have it. Uh, I'll have to bring up the sand castings, which is a thing, but otherwise... Let's see. Neo! Neo, Neo, Neo. Let's go. I don't need that. Uh, linearly dependent series. What did you... Oh, because I don't need the activated carbon and the zinc chloride for that. Uh... Also not going to get it through that process. That's a thing. All right. The fine sand gas will be through this. Uh, I need to change my default to that. Yeah show up anywhere else I hope no nope. crafting craft with fluid yeah all that needs to change what else do you show up I think that's it that needs to be electric all right good save me some time later and then methanol one entire unit uh, made out of zinc copper and syngas Yeah. Yeah, so there's our build for one Neobium plate. Uh, though we do need um, the Omnite. We can get it directly now from Omnite. Uh, so there we go. Needs now. Uh, blah. I don't need to look at the organic solvent uh, either. I can bring that over. So yeah. Funny, that's a lot of ones. That's a lot of ones there. This is not correct. That cannot possibly be correct. Because I was on belts, and not items per second. Yeah. Can I hide these, please? Can I, like, get rid of these buttons in their entirety? That would be great. I don't want these buttons to exist. All I ever want is items per second, and I don't want anything else ever. Just, I... Please let me get rid of these in their entirety. I don't want them to exist. I can make you bigger. Wow. Bigger. Yeah, so that's now that ingredient list is now twenty items long. Huh. That's more manageable. I like that. I like the extra height. That's that's fine by me. I, I like having that extra height. I, I do like I do like that. 
What I don't like is these buttons existing. I wanna wanna kill them with fire and brimstone. Uh so any hoozles here. That that's the actual numbers. Right there. We need to build all of it. Beautiful. Glorious. Wonderful stuff. Let's go. Uh but 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 uh you a U and a Yui. Rectum Saul. Go. Oh, I'm building more lamps here. Hmm. Guess. Everyone move over. Boy, more things. Uh, one of you and one of you. I'm gonna need more of these. Oh, I have a bunch. Wow, just it, it's directly crafting. Holy crap, I have everything. How many DDCs? I have 20. All right. Ah, I need a classies. I need classies. I need ball mills. Uh, and jaw crushing. We'll need more electroly electrolysis. Electrolysis. go higher because we need it for the chromium. Duh. Copper, zinc. Also, uh, box. Methanol canisters. Where do you live? Here. Uh, I did clean my inventory if it wasn't obvious, but I I have I have cleaned out a lot of my inventory of the junk. Okay, copper. How far down is my copper here? Zinc. to the earth thing I need to void there's a little one that one and I need fuel hello fuel Uh, you know what? 
This is a great... This is a great spot. It's going to be in the way, but oh well. It says 1.4k. Uh, I'll add that there's 10% productivity now, so every all the speed is now 10% faster. <laughs> Uh, across the board, every everything is 10% faster now, or 10% more products now. Uh, it's glorious. Need to add saline. Have I brought a pipe of saline? think brought it right the saline goes here and then stops I'm to move it further are right, you How far are we going? Answer very. All right. This is one of those times where it would be really, really nice. To have niobium pipes. But that's sort of the point of this. Great. This is where version 2.0 is going to shine, by the way, because of the, uh, there's going to be an ability to uh, force place here. Uh, so what you're going to be, what you're going to be able to do uh, in this instance is, rather than having this error out and say transport belt in the way, it will actually assign deconstruction orders over the spots, which is going to be a massive quality of life improvement, particularly in this. Ex Explicit scenario. This scenario is what that's really built for. This one right here. We're almost. You know what? Screw it. Kill the whole damn thing. It will be faster this way. Great. It will actually just be faster to do it like that. A shame that that's the case, but oh well, just the way it is. Iron, copper, and glass. I need additional power. Alright, 
glass. Your time has come. All that for that. There's refined sin gas. Over here we've got this guy. the back end stuff done to get neobium cool so that's all of that I will still need salt but that's fine and I need the uh, the nitrogen that's right uh, that should be next actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do that I'm gonna sneak it try to sneak it in here. I don't I don't think I'll be able to. Just because of the uh all these guys that I need with it too. I'm not gonna filter the purest nitrogen on this. Yeah, figured as much. I figured it'd be in the way. By a tile! Okay. Nitrogen. Now we're ready. Now we're ready. Okay. Two of those. And... Oh. Oh! Right. I have a... I have better... I have better recipe. Yeah, I have that one now. Only four! Only four instead of five needed.
waiting line. Whoops. Waiting line. Now, this actually produces less crushed stone overall, by the way, now for a lot of the processes giving me the 9.9 .9 out versus the 7.2. Yeah, that's 7.2 and 4.8 versus, yeah, 9.9 .9 and 2.1, less than half. Or I should say that it's been reduced by more than half from what it was to what it is now. So then all that goes into this. Needs refined sin gas. Yeah, that's not a good spot. Oh, wow. That's neobium ore. And it needs to be crushed. Filter stone. There's going to be gravel in as well. Ball, I said ball mill. Classify. Getting classy around here. Hello. Welcome to the stream. We're making the neobium now. guy so this is where we need the stuffs right you uppies now we just need neobium and chromium and we'll be ready for bots As well as the beginning of the transition into the rail base and the bot base mall. Just add salt. That that does absolutely happen. Okay, I forgot. Uh 
uh, boogers. Uh, ba, 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 there. It's better. The opium! It exists! It exists. Oh, joy! We have Neobium! Now we just need some Chromium. gonna point out that that's not an insignificant amount of uh, sin gas there but oh well uh, five oop Welcome to the stream. We have made the Neobium and are moving on to Chromium. Goodbye, forever. Yeah, that's, that is not a thing that anyone should be discussing on a stream live. No, just no, we, we won't talk about that. That's not something you talk about. You don't want to actually engage with literally breaking laws. Uh, nah. No. Anyway, things and stuff. Hilarious, we're actually just limited by the electrolyzer. This is act this is able to output more. Huh. Neat. Uh, give me sin gas. Uh just running across. There we go. Giving chromium ore.
Let's see, then it's two of these. And I actually have them. Wow. Neat. this disturbs many people my habit here in this bus of just building stuff like within the areas of scaling in the space where I could scale but it's actually just because I'm not going to scale like I know shocking right it's like I'm not going to use that space so I like for scaling so I may as well you know use the space But, 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 but that's scaling. But scaling. Yeah, we're not going to be on the... I'm going to be dismantling the entire main bus. Like, over the next 50 streams, it will be fully dismantled at some point. Cough, hack, wheeze. Eventually. <laughs> the whole thing will go away. It'll be piecemeal. But it will eventually die. Alright, one more thing. Sand castings. Need to find a line. Run it up. I have to find it too. There you are. Hello. Hello, sand castings. And there's chromium. Okay. That's it. That, uh, that is actually it. That's all. That is uh, everything I need. To start making robots. Logistics robots. Uh, which means that that is basically the point in which I can terminate my main bus. Right, right there, which means I need enough belt to pull up all of the lines, at least the lines that I need for a mall area I to build things. And no, I'm not going to call it a hub. That is that is actually just not a thing that I will ever do because it is strictly not a hub. I don't know what else to say. A, a hub is for both input and output, and I'm not going to be outputting anything from it. I think most people would say that that's not a point in which you output things. Definitely, it's a it's a point where you bring stuff to, but you're making things there. And you're manually pulling stuff away, but you're not shipping it out from there. A hub is a central location where you are bringing things to then distribute around uh a example of a hub would be the uh in in the expansion the thing we can build one of per planet that will allow us to you know ship things between planets those are hubs okay those those buildings where you're, where you are able to deliver things interplanetarily those are hubs I wish we could build infinite of them 
on each planet, but oh well. By default, it's one. But that is a hub. That is the very definition of a hub. It's the place you send things to, and you can send things out from. Well, with robots, or robots with rockets nearby, you can send things out through robots. That little area where you have that, that's, that's a hub. Hubs are for sending and receiving uh, stuff. Not just receiving. Not just receiving. You don't you don't get there by being like half right. Oh, yes, it is a manufacturing complex that provides infrastructure. That is that is its primary purpose. It is a, an area for manufacturing infrastructure. We call that a mall just because it's the it is a place with a whole bunch of stuff where you go shopping to get stuff from but that also ignores the uh the whole manufacturing of the things there as well but either way i'd rather just call it a mall because hub just is boring and wrong Anyway, I'm coming down because I have to get to my uh, intermetallics. Where are those exactly? Here. And where am I standing? Way below. Okay. I need to pull the intermetallics up. Because I need that for the, for the bots. I also need to make the nichrome. So there's one more thing. Uh, in the form of the nichrome, I have to bring... Oh, I did not make nickel, now did I? So there's still one more thing. <sighs> Great. There's still one more thing, because I do need nickel. Unless this is nickel. Oh, yeah. It's nickel. I just bring that up. Cool. Uh, yeah. Intermetallics. Needed nickel. What line am I going to draw? I don't know, probably the one next to the thingies that I just brought up. This line. Woohoo. Uppies. Nickel line. Uppies. Okay, we're here. I'm realizing I have to build more of this. I have to, I have to like do another one of these things. Wonderful. Why are you dead? That's a great question. Why are you, why are you not moving? You should be moving. Oh, I need stuff. I need more things. Uh-oh. Uh, iron. Copper. Oh, no. I came all the way up here. I'm, like, out of iron and copper. Oh, no. 
Oops. Oh. Right, I forgot. I forgot. I'm a dummy. Um, yeah. Yeah, that that's a thing. It's a 50% chance to return your lamps. Oh, hydrogen chloride. Ah, bah. Like, oh, yeah. Any oozles? You? Is it you? Wait. No, it's not you. It's a high pressure furnace. Need an HPF. Make nichrome. Beautiful, glorious, wonderful nichrome. Okay. Gib resources. I need iron and copper. Iron. Uh, looks like there's no spot where I can just get both lines of both. And let's see, I need lots of those. And I need to make pressure pumps. Um, actually. We're going to terminate the bus. Okay. Uh, those chests... Provider, requester, storage. I am um, don't need this many, but you know what? I'll have it there just because. Also, Gib Robo Ports. Uh, recharge stations as well. The thingies have just been taken their sweet ass time to get up here. stations. We need multiple of them. Be that'll be what I have for the moment down here. Yeah, so now I can just steal my iron and copper. And we got nichrome. It's begun. It has begun. Nichrome has begun to move. All right. Finally. 
finally we can do this. Uh, so I will need to bring fish oil up on the line and I'll need to process belts. It's time. Okay. Uh, so, if it isn't obvious, uh, I am going to be manually creating these at the start. And then bring up the belts uh, to the point where then they can build themselves. All right, fish oil line is here. I should be using Neobium Undergrounds, but whatever. I have to or move. Just gonna move. Fish oil provided. Okay, now. Bring that up. Stick some in there. Right, I need steam engines. They need to be able to make steam engines. That's going to be difficult, so I have to run the belt up. Unfortunately, I have to run the belt up from the stuffs. What mod do I have that makes it instant build with little explosions, some type of mod? Sub no, it is nanobots. Nanobots. Look up, look up nanobots. I've got little construction ammo down here. Nanobot construction bots is what that does. It's what does that, I should say. Batteries are needed. I have to run batteries up. Nanobots are available from circuit production. Because um, you need the circuits to make the nano emitter. But you don't need them for the bots themselves. There's also a uh, termite bot that uh, automatically destroys trees around you.
Where did I have those small parts? Was that mechanical parts, which I also need to bring up. As well as all their pieces. Uh, great. go. They are here. Oop, I am running out of undergrounds. Also running out of belt too, so I guess I better take a trip all the way down to the base. I'm at less than times two speed now. That's wonderful. Just want to point out that the game is running at less than times two. I had it was set to times five. Um, yeah, that's a sign of progress. Not necessarily the sign that I'm looking for, but it is a sign. Huh? What? Just make a few of those. To grab batteries, gearboxes. How many do I have on me? 54. And then small parts. You need rubber. Bu -bu -bu bubber. Oh, and that's it for my belts. Great. But I need to. I need to get in the car now. Left my car over yonder. I need to go down to where I'm making my belts. And get more belts. We need more belts. Alright. Now, as I've mentioned, this process is going to take a very long time to uh, complete, so yeah, each stream is basically just going to be a window into the progress of how it's going, With uh, so don't expect progression, any more progression anytime soon, this is, this is about as much as we're going to have be progressed for a while. Because, uh, yeah, this, this transition just takes a really long time, but it's necessary, and it will really help. It is, it is absolutely fundamentally required. Do I want to grab anything else? I don't think so. Because we can't keep this main boss forever. Uh, in my very first playthrough, I used the main boss all the way through Circuit 2s. But of course, in the first playthrough, they didn't have Pi Alien Life. Or Alternative Energy. So, it's a little bit easier to get away with back then. But, uh, not anymore. And at that point... When I got Circuit 2s, I transitioned to a pure bot base. Once I once I terminated my bus, it was a pure bot base for the rest of the game. I did not build a single, uh, or I didn't place a single rail on the map. 
or like use trains. I didn't use trains at all. It was all all belts and bots for the whole thing. Definitely can't get away with that anymore. It was also a very large main bus. A very large main bus. With a very large fluid bus as well. Okay. So I got belt. I need to bring up rubber. Rub bub bubbers. Yeah. Rub bub bubbers, the kitty. Gotta bring that circuit line up too. Where do circuits live? There you are. Plastic, niobium, and solder. Oh boy, that's that's my alarm indicating that I am halfway through the stream. Uh, do I have any solder on me? The answer is nah. I have small parts, and I have plastic, and I have the niobium. I just uh, I don't have the solder on me. Weirdly, of all things. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna grab solder or pull solder up. Puppies. So once I make the first bot, it will be it will be break time. Where's that? Where's that solder living? There you are. It's all all all, all alder. And the Neo, the Neobiom, Neobiom. Built. And that is the first bot. That is the second. That is the third. Fourth and the fifth and the sixth. We have bots. Hallelujah. Now, the next step is making it so that uh, the bots can build more of themselves. That, that's the next step, and so that means bringing all of the stuff that I haven't brought up, up, and onto the network. That which includes all those parts for mechanical parts. So that's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, it, now, now it's just a matter of get the bus brought here. Uh, so that the bots can have the resources to work with to make more bots and also get more bots onto the network uh, until we have infinite bots uh, and enough to then start making actual other necessary infrastructure, in particular trains. Ne next step is trains. Ne next step is trains and getting everything onto trains. So with that, I'm going to take a break uh, and I'm going to be back in a few minutes.
And I have returned. Welcome back. We're here. We have robots. I need to set this so that I request the robots uh, in a way that lets them go directly into the roboports. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, uh, I don't quite have enough robots yet, but there they go. They're taking them. And that frees them. Okay, so now I need to get all of the parts here, like actually in the system. The, uh, the nichrome is brought, needs to be brought up. Uh, you know, chromium as well should be brought in and brought up. Uh, same with Neobium. This line is Neobium line. What am I going to do with all of the other crap? So, I need the gearboxes at minimum. Yeah, I still need to add the gearboxes and the plastic. So, plastic needs to come up. At least I, I should have that. Where's, which one is plastic? There's plastic. Okay. Bring that belt line up. So that means leaves. Uh, the gear boxes. And then everything else. And then everything else. But that's the minimum to get this going perpetually. Yeah? Pretty sure, because I got the, I got steam engines made and the stuff to make them made. I got the batteries here. I got the nichrome inner metallics. I brought a line already. I got the line of the circuits. I got the belt and I got the rubber for it. I got the small parts brought. That just brought the neobium uh, or, and the plastic. I brought the solder. I have fish oil here. So yeah, the only thing is gear boxes. Let's get the gear boxes brought up. I need a line for gear boxes. Oh joy, oh bliss. I'll need a line for gearboxes, I'll need a line for the mechanical parts, I'll need a line for the brakes and the bo utility boxes, control panels, etc. I need I need all of the parts for mechanical parts uh, brought up because I'm not going to make them locally. <laughs> not at the mall. And scaling them, as always, is going to be a really massive pain in the butt. Yeah. Until it's not. And then once it's not, it's not going to be. Like, the rest of time. But, anyway. I bring... Oh. Boogers. And snots. Shame I have to, like, get rid of three lines like that. Or three belts at a time like that. Otherwise it contaminates what I'm drawing. Okay. Uh, so, this is the line. Hello, cat. Hello, Ollie cat. Welcome back, Mr. Ollie cat. Welcome back, kitty. Mr. Kitty. Where's your sister at, huh? Where'd Dolly Cat go? Where's the Dolly Cat? She was upstairs. I saw her upstairs. I saw Miss Dolly Cat upstairs. Yeah. Where's your sister? Oh, we're pretty sure half sister, but still sister. Where's your sister at? Uh, 
Run and belt. Run and belt. Probably run and wrong belt, but... Run and belt. Oh no, it's correct belt. We are correct. That is the last mandatory item for the moment to fully automate the uh, production of additional logistics robots. The bots are producing more bots. Isn't that glorious? Uh, I don't think I'll need those, but the belt's already bought up anyway. Okay, uh, yeah, so they're eating up all of the circuits, like, immediately, which is as expected. Um, we have eight slots for robots. Oh, boy. Um, hmm. I have to expand everything. Uh, in particular, I'm going to just add a bunch of things here. Hello. And welcome to the stream. We have begun the bot transition, which will also include a rail transition at some point, but uh, yeah, we've begun this process. Okay. With the bots doing their thing and growing, how many are we at now? We have 24 online, about to have 25. Good. Wonderful stuffs. So I'm going to take a storage chest. I'm going to add some, add a bit of storage in here. So what are we going to do after we beat Pi, is what you're asking? What are we going to do when we finally beat this mod? When we finally win? Hmm, as has been asked before. I don't know. I don't know about this time around. But, uh, what's next? Um, it fully depends on how long it takes. Uh, let's see. When did I start? As I, as I just got some water, like on the edge of my mouse and on my mouse pad. Great. Uh, when did I start Pi Block? When did I start Pi Block? Was that like August? When did I, of last year, when did I start Pi Block? Productive Pi Block started no, I don't want that. I want to I want to see the playlist. It started, it says six streamed six months ago. I wish it would tell me the exact month. Hello? Five I block. Show me all. Show all. Why do I have to click a separate show all button on the search bar on YouTube Studio just to see what I'm searching for? Like, I searched for it. I'm typing this in because I want to see the list of everything. Like, that is my fundamental purpose in life for doing this search. Why? Why? September 3rd, 2023, and it ended February 20th. So, how long did, the, did that take? October, November, December, January, February, nearly six months. 
So I'm going to imagine that this playthrough will take about that long. Which means uh, there is a chance that the expansion will be out. Or soon. Soon. At that point. there There is potential. But I'm not going to hold my breath like six months from now to have the expansion release happen. I would think that it's going to still be a few months away at least. So my point is that another Pi series will not come immediately after this series. So the, the, the point I'm trying to make is that it is highly unlikely that the expansion will be out when I finish this. So it's not going to be the expansion. And on the other hand, the expansion will be close enough that it's not going to be worth starting a new Pi series because the expansion will happen during the series. So whatever I do next is going to have to be not Pi. Could be something not Factorio, at least briefly. At, like, as well, an as well thing. So I might do something not Factorio, and then I might do something Factorio. That should be, like, connected to the scaling, but anyway. No one has any idea when the expansion will happen, ultimately. Or it could also get delayed at any point. Why did... Why did I... What? What? That's weird. So, I was correct. It... Wow, this... This grid is just... Really... Really odd. Here. That's better. to determine where my train station is going to live as well. So ultimately, I would really, really like if they just said, oh, by the way, this expansion, yeah, it's the, it's now a sequel. I, I would love for them to say that. Actually, I, I would much prefer if they framed this as sequel and not expansion. Ah, uh, yeah. Because a lot of what they've been discussing has been just straight up, oh, we're just taking all the mods. We're just, we're just taking all the most popular mods and making it part, uh, the, the base game without actually, like, saying that they're from mods, you know, in the first place. 
it's saying that they're getting these ideas from mods and who did the original mods and not not giving it any credit whatsoever or anything outside of the one person they decided to hire Anyway, so there was a uh, there was a Friday fax, by the way. <laughs> there was a Friday fax. It didn't really, not really much worth discussing about it. It's just a thing that exists. It's also a lot of, like, way too many uh, these power goals. But whatever, it's fine. I didn't, didn't walk the middle line. I need to walk the middle line. Oh, yeah, I thought as much. Uh, what do I want? What am I, what am I working on here? Something I was working on. Um... Can I point out that Omnimatter made uh, made Rare Earth harder? Like, of all, of all the things that got easier, the one thing that got harder was actually Rare Earth. Because they based it off of the, uh, off of the actual ore mining and not the, uh, not the Mega Mine. And we don't get the Mega Mine. So we actually have to provide naphtha to get Rare Earth uh, ores. That kind of sucks. I wanted this. Yes, sulfur processing is what I was working on, so I still need to get archons. What is blocking archons? What else is blocking our cons? Huh? Ulrich. Vanadium processing, and then I can pick up sulfur processing. So I want sulfur processing because it gives me, you know, sulfuric acid from acid gas. In particular. But acid gas, how am I going to get that? Refined some gas, sulfur, maybe, but... Mm, eh. It always sucks that they made this peroxide. It's like, really? Really? Huh? Vanilla, it's water, not hydrogen peroxide, but whatever. I need the, uh... Actually, when when do I do that? When do I get that? When is that available? Next tech. Of course, it's next tech. I need my Fawagi upgrades. Oh, wait. And then it's even further, isn't it? Because I have to unlock the desulfurizator. Yeah, that's here. Boogers. It's chem. I have to wait all the way to chem. I can get what I want. Uh, there, there. Unless it's been changed, wouldn't put it past him. Uh, Bowagi. That.
in the desulfurizator. Oh yeah, that's what they changed. They changed uh they changed this a little bit. They changed option three. Uh this recipe to make activated carbon out of phalgy no longer replaces the uh raw coal recipe from phalgy. Uh, like I don't know anyone really using that recipe to begin with, but hey, now it's now this is an in addition, you get this recipe. Uh this one right here. Now it's added. And of course all the buildings get harder to make, but eh. The the thing is that it the acid gas from sulfur phalgy is always going to be better one hundred percent of the time than the activated carbon. It's neat. It's a it's neat to have access to activated carbon directly from Falgi, but in the grand scheme of the base, this is not as useful as the acid gas recipe because you need significantly more sulfuric acid from acid gas in the late game end game base than you need activated carbon. <laughs> Both are useful, it's just one is very much more useful than the other. Okay, uh, so what are we working on? How many bots are there in now? 44! Oh boy. There are now 44 bots. Cool. And we are accruing steam engines and pipes and belts. Wow. Okay, let us get the rest of the belts up. That sounds like a plan. In fact, I'm actually making additional belt, which means it is actually in my best interest to make belt with those belts. So that's what I will do. I will set this to build belt. Uh, and I will actually have it outputting multiple chests worth yeah yeah that's that's a thing that is a thing so i want this to be building me belts through that improved efficiency recipe because i'm about to use all of my belt all of my belt will now disappear into the ether for mm, all of the metals at the least and the glass I don't think I will bring all of the lines up because there's things that I don't really need in the mall. Uh, I'm questioning whether or not to bring the Relesia up. I won't need plasmids until after I have them on the bus or have them on the trains. Um, like the next time I need plasmids. I will be making them on my train network for like that. That's the that's the point uh, I'm making here. Similarly, with the agar and the uh, omnite and the uh, the native flora here. Uh, what I need is this. I need the duralumin. 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 Like anything that's a metal or a metal alloy, I will want to bring up. Uh, I will bring up wood. Because that makes sense. Have wood. What else? I'm not going to bother with the urea and the petri dishes. Not going to bother with the, uh, like fish eggs here or the uh, moss. I don't I don't think I want the moss. I'll need these two. And the uh damn, let's bring up these. I'll need to filter them. Whoops.
So I need to filter the vitriol. Now, is it on the left or right? It's on the left, okay. Up the... Yeah, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna bring up the moss gene samples. I'll probably need the moss before the moss gene. I will eventually need the moss gene samples, but again, it's- I'll need them when I've already set up the rails part of the base, and I will bring them by rail. I do need ceramic for infrastructure. There's a few other smaller things that I'll probably need to also add to the bus for infrastructure. Like the, uh, the treated wood. Yeah, and I will need the melamine. Yes, I will need the melamine. Melamine and the... Aluminium here. That sounds very tedious uh, of an early game for Brave New World. That sounds like the early game is supremely tedious and time consuming without actually being any fun whatsoever. If you're gonna make a mod based around bots, they, I need to be able to build them from like really early, not fucking chem science. It's an interesting concept, but that execution sounds like utter dog shit. Anyway. Let me see here. Am I missing anything important? Just looking at what's been trimmed. I guess I'll bring... Whoops. I guess I'll bring up the Coke. To have some. hate when it does that. Otherwise, I think I'm done with this. Did I bring the lead? No. Of course. All right. Lead. All right. There we go. Anything else? Okay, I think I'm good. Maybe. There's of course the uh, the mechanical parts and other pieces of mechanical parts so that I can automate the locomotives. Locomotives need brakes, shafts, and well that's it. It needs the brakes and the shafts, so I need to bring both of those over and up. Okay, that's next. That's next, and what about the, uh, the wagons? Brakes and shafts, brakes and shafts? Only brakes and shafts, okay. I'll be able to automate all of those as well. Alright, 
let's get to it then. Let's get to it. We have an hour, and I hope to uh, begin building rails, and well, placing rails today. Uh, I'm also going to need to automate production of these wires. Oh, I have to, I have, to have lamps, too. I have to provide those. Because uh, I'll, I'll need lamps for the, uh, where the heck they live around here. Combat. Yeah, these. These train requesters need lamps. Oh, yeah, and I have to do the bulk rail loaders and the uh, stops, train stops. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a bit, a bit of stuff. And I have to get my construction ammo. And then all of the buildings, all of the Mark 1 buildings. Yeah, that's going to be fun. But first comes robots. First comes bots. First comes bots. Uh, okay, so brakes are here. Actually, those are the shafts. Okay, the brakes are... That's control panels. The brakes are there. Okay. And so what I would want is to have a shared belt. Uh, there is a 0% chance that I would play the game with biters, no matter what I do. Absolutely 0% chance I will ever play with biters ever again, so just keep that in mind. What do you mean? What happened? They're boring. I'm not. I'm not ever playing with biters. Full stop. I'm not. I don't play the game to be on an arbitrary time limit. I don't like feeling that I'm being timed and feeling that I'm boxed in and how and how I like can play the game. I don't like how they limit the game and how it's played. And most of the game is spent in a state where they are a solved problem that you have to continuously, tediously deal with the entirety of the rest of the game. They're fine early as for what they do, but there does come a point where they are a solved issue and they just become tedious after that point. And I'm not going to play an entire 100 plus hour game with biters. Just not happening. I have gotten the achievements that I feel like getting with from the vanilla game that involve biters. And I'm not going to do it again.
anyway. Things. How are things in the base? We're at least getting the belts. We've got, got more production there, and I'm going to take those. We've got those. That means I can start building, actually, uh, I would like neobium pipes. That would be great. As initial early stuff to do. Good. Uh, I have to split this before this gets here into uh, breaks and shafts. I just made it. I just realized in time. So that does that, which means then I can automate everything, but a lot of what I need here for the rail stuff, and I will do that here. So let's get the trains, wagons, the train stops. Uh, I'm not going to do the signals and the rails quite yet. Uh, I need big electric poles. Oh, I need the co I need concrete for that. Dang. Uh, hmm. The issue with that is that they're really far away. Guess I'm bringing a belt up of it. Uh, I need the wires. I need the combinators. Gosh, there's just so much crap that I need. I need even more. I need buy and request stations and I need requester lamps but you know I think that's it I think that that just may cover everything except for the concrete Oh, I need more. I need more things. Okay. Gib. Oh, yeah, you need storage tanks. Oh, God. All right. A little more of these. have all those those are brought up now it's just a lack of uh it's just a bot issue number of bot issue i should also make medium power poles but eh. oh you need rail Blech. the lamps and I need the rails all right all right figured as much
This will be real. Uh, I'm going to take uh, most of it for me and like all of these <laughs> and that and all of that that I have those it's missing oh I guess I'll need to automate my inserters Oh, that means omniscium and stuff. Oof. Great. Great. Ta-da! It's a few units per second there. That's a, that's a bit of production. It always amuses me. It's like, wow, this is actually developer intended. That it always it always amuses me when I when I see that behavior. And I'm like, that's developer intended. Yeah, that, that's actually developer intended. I can say this with 100% certainty that that, is, that that behavior is 100% developer intended. Because it did not used to work that way. And now it does. They went out of their way to make it work that way. Like, wow. Uh, so concrete is at the very bottom of the bus or, uh, and base. Oh, that's a problem. Uh, you need to move. And I need to go there physically. Great. We've made our first locomotive. Yay. Milestone. Milestone achieved. We have made a locomotive and we've made wagons neat let me get thee down so rail system thoughts on rail system uh, I will be continuing to use the same rail system that I have been using for a long ass time now. The Foundation Rail Series Rails. Just search on Google Foundation Rail Series or, you know, there's a pinned link to it near the top, like for initial pins in my Discord in Factorio String Sharing channel. Oops. Like very much near the top of the oldest pens. Foundation Rail Series belts by, or belts, rails by Cano. are good. Uh, I went too far. I went too far. Uh, so they're here. Ah, boogers. Ta-da. While I'm here. Thank you. For all the belt.
beautiful. All rocks must die. As well as all trees. Big stretchies. Oh, stretch, stretch, stretch. Oh. Okay. I will take all those. And I will take all those. I need, a, I need several thousand of those before I actually really want to use them. Uh, as I... As, blah! Feet? Feet? The, uh, my, my, my feet caught the cord when I, when I stretched. <sighs> okay. Next steps. Well, we need infinity everything now. Uh, not joking. I need, like, hundreds of automated factories millions of units of belt hi mr kitty meow meow there's mr kitty there's mr cat yeah get going buh buh mr cat hi don't think he got me but Hello. Hello, kitty. Mr. Kitty. Yeah, that was that was violent coming up. Yeah, that was too quick for kitty. Is that too quick for kitty? You're not used to it. Yeah. Hey, baby. Big boy. Now where you going? You looked at the light. You looked at the light. Don't go for my light. Please. Please don't go for my light, Mr. Cat. Uh, so I think that if I manually build some stuff, I can do a lot of uh, the rail system stuff now. So that's what I'll do. That is what I'll do. I'll just, I'll manually make a lot of the uh, back end things just to have them. It'll be, it'll be faster this way for me to get started. Uh, starting is a great question. St starting is a good point to begin with. Yes. How do we start building a rail system? Well, generally speaking, the way that I like to start my rail system is to begin with fuel. Start with the fueling station and go from there. Uh, oh yeah, I also need all of the big electric poles uh, ever, so that's going to need some stuff. Yeah, I'm going to need, uh, I'm going to need a lot of things. I'm going to need a lot of power poles, a lot of power poles for this. I think, though... We're good now. I'll grab those. I'll grab those. I haven't made any of this yet. Great. Oh, sticks. I need iron sticks. I'm not making iron sticks, apparently. I went and I did that. Oh, great. So that means I need extra space now so I'll do extra space sure 
iron sticks. Take care of that. Anything else? Uh, theoretically, I should be, like, limiting all of these chests to, like, single stacks of things across the board with very few exceptions. Like, pipes and belts. Most everything should be limited. Uh, not these. I need infinite those. Okay. Okay. So, I said that I will use the Foundation Rail series. And that's this guy. This That's this blueprint book that I have on my hotbar right now. This blueprint book includes this behemoth of an intersection. I generally use this as a main intersection. I'm not going to in this playthrough. I'm not going to use this particular blueprint in this playthrough, I believe. Uh, like, the, the only time I will use it is probably for the entrance to my mall station. That will be the only one. So, mall train station entrance will go where bearing in mind that the robots will have to fly the entire distance of the station to where my stuff is being built so ideally if i'm expanding upwards if I'm, if I'm, like, expanding upwards and, like, within this general left-right zone and just up, my stations should be aligned up this way. So the, the actual stations themselves... I actually need rail... Uh, will be aligned that way and then parallel to each other. Do I not actually... No, I don't. Do I? Why do I never save these blueprint books? Like, to global? I, like, I never save these blueprint books to global and it sometimes can be frustrating because it means I have to... I rebuild this the basically the same stations every single time stations okay so just just to get an idea i'm gonna get my uh unloaders loaders supply request so the the line of the like not those The line of the bulk rail unloaders will end up being here. So, last playthrough, I had 1-1 one, one trains. I had 1-1 one, one trains last playthrough. I'm going to keep 1-1 one, one trains, I think. I'm, I think I'm going to keep it 1-1. One, one. Because I've set with restack mod ores to have a stack size of 500. So I'm going to keep it 1 1. Wow. 
experience. I know the exact spacing. Uh, yeah. That, that's, that's nice. So, we need a, uh, lamp. Uh, and we need, we'll need wires, but, uh, that's not next. What, what is the freaking combinator that I use? I never remember the specific combinator type. Is it deciders or arithmetic? I think it's deciders. Um, no, it's it's two arithmetics. Um, Yes, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's two arithmetics because I have to take an input, divide it by uh, a value. Where are my, where are the combinators? U. Arithmetic. Uh, yeah, because I divide by the amount that I want in the station. The amount of stuff divided by 4k and then the uh, then you're outputting that a uh, and it's what a times the number of train loads of stuff that I want is equal to p then this is set to number of this is set to uh trains on way less than p where's the okay, i have to i actually have to hook everything up um that does block a little bit so i'll do it this way actually I'll do it that way so you in there out to there that to there that to there so this is looking for trains on the way less than equal to P I likely did not do that correctly. Let me bring up my blueprint string. Uh, da, 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 da. Do some request logic. What is the actual logic? It's each divided by 4k outputs, in this case, x, then x, 2 minus, that's what it is. Ah, uh, 2 minus the value outputs p, and then p, yeah, trains on the way less than and not equal to p. All right, there we go. That's, that's the logic. Okay. Uh, just has to make sure that the wire is connected to the train counter that this guy goes to you know what i'm gonna, I'm gonna redo this i'm gonna redo it again as the wires uh, uh, speaking of this week's friday facts friday factorio facts in version 2.0 this exact thing that i just did would have placed with all of the wire connections left intact. That is that is what they talked about this week, is that, that spe this specific scenario would have resulted in all of the wires reconnecting in the correct locations. That, that was like the main 
thing. Which is good quality of life thing. I, I'm happy that that's a thing. Um, also, we can ma like manually push trains now. Um, eh. There was stuff about if you don't have uh, train station names enabled from the map view, they will show up when you hover over the things. That's great. Uh, you can rename train stations from the map view by doing like the shift right click, shift left click to rename. Uh, as if you were in the regular view, you can do that from map view now for train stations. So that's that's really nice. So yeah, a lot of a lot of train stop things being updated this time around. Uh, oh yeah, and the whole names thing. Uh, you can assign train stop names and it will copy over any train limits and priorities that had that name. Uh, not really something that will be something that I use because I will not be doing vanilla train system stuff, but anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, there's the whole, you can draw uh, train tracks uh, from the map view now easier than before, or you can just do it now. Like actually draw uh, like blueprint uh, train tracks from map view. So that's neat. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that actually just covers the entirety of the thing. Oh, and then drive remotely, which... Okay. Drive remotely. So, in the case that you're on another planet and... Rails... Something screws up with the rails system and you have to take manual control of the... Of a train on another planet, you're able to do so remotely. Uh, rather than have to physically fly back to the other planet. Which definitely says something about, you know, the ability to move between planets being very tedious if they're resorting to adding this entire mechanic where you can just control things remotely like that. That really speaks to... That just means that it's really tedious to go between planets right doesn't it seem like it's that way just by by uh like next next step of logic isn't that what they're implying by making this a thing like oh if you're on another planet then something happens, you don't want to go through all the effort of going back. Well, that means I have to go through effort to go back? Huh? How about you just make it so that it's not as much effort to go back to the other planets you've already built things on? You think of that? How about, how about actually just making it not an effort to go back? That that sounds like a much better idea to me. I don't know about you, but that's not, that sounds a much, like a much better idea to me. Uh, actually, I'm going to delete that and replace it with the one that has an extra tile of stuff on it with signals. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my signals. Yeah, I need, I need signals. Rail signals. Hello. Yes, we need... I uh, want one there of that type, and I want one... Here of this type. Yes, that's that's what I want. Uh, so that is going to be the position thereabouts of the uh, train station. Whoops. So that'll be about how that goes. Okay. Um said they're about the position it's not going to be the position because I'm realizing that I do need a waiting location here 
and the escape. Oof. Great. So this will just be unique, I guess, because uh, if I'm going to use this as my input, I'm going to have to have this, like, here? Like, here? Oh, goodness. Cut all that. Paste. I'm sorry. Paste. I'm sorry. I s Why won't you... There. Go. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is arbitrary. I want this locked. I want this locked. But anyway, I'll lock it after. Ah, uh, so that'll be the train station. That's really up, way up high. I'm gonna have more thingies below, probably starting from like here. So I'll grab all this. So, no signals there. I mean, I, I don't have anything to provide to the train network yet, anyway. It's off. It's fine. Uh, so, waiting station is going to have a smaller alignment, anyway. Or a smaller gap, anyway, between the each spot. So this is waiting station, it can grow infinitely that way, and then this is the actual providers up that way. Yes, it does mean that there's a bit of a gap here, but that means I get to, like, rest and stop when I need to get restocked, you know, right right in my network, closer to the, to the things. So, I'll take it, I'll take it, that'll be, that'll be our train station for them all. I did it very differently last last time because uh, this is the arrangement that I would use for my um, actual train stations for my factories this is what it would look what it looks like for my factories so obviously this time around this is what I've chosen this arrangement I've done things differently before uh, where I've had it arranged slightly differently. Uh, so basically I've had it so that rather than being the two lobes like this, I've had this section be down here, off to the side, that then curves up like that. So it would look, it would look, instead of having that, it would look like this, and then uh, the input from this way. But that sort of limits a little bit how big that can be. Uh, if I did it that way, I could have the input station actually be like here. I could have this thing here feeding in 
like over 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 here beating in I'm just thinking about whether or not that's something I would actually want to do. If I want want it to be that way or just like this. I think I'm going to keep it like this. Oh boy, that's a forest. The trees! You know what we do to trees around here. All trees must be destroyed. They must die. All trees must die. So this will ideally be the only of this large station that I have, or this large intersection that I have in the base, and I will only ever use the smaller intersections. So I have to determine how big my uh, squares are going to be. That's a good question. How big will my squares be this time around? So I usually keep really, really big squares. Really, really big squares. I think they're going to be smaller this time. Not like tiny. Not like tiny squares. We're going to have bigger squares. Just not as big. Because previously, my, my squares... Usually, I default to having it such that uh, the gap in between large intersections is the equivalent of three large intersections. That's how it's that's how it's generally been. We're going to be smaller this time. I think it's going to be like one. The, at least the equivalent. And it's going to be done with the regular intersection sizes, not the big one. Even though I will have it arranged so that I could upgrade to the bigger ones if I wanted to. We're just not going to spend all of those resources when I don't need it. Like if it, if they're not needed, don't don't do it. Don't build it if you don't need it. If you don't need that level of throughput of the trains, then don't build to that level of throughput for the trains. It's a waste of resources. Build it when you need it. All trees are dying. Almost all of the trees are dead. Hello! Welcome, Yukio. You just arrived! Yeah. You've you missed most uh, at this point. What do you mean already? We're we're we are here. This is the time. This is the latest it can be. It is time. We have Neobium. We have Chromium, we have Nichrome, we have built bots. We have bots building more bots. And the train stuff now. So yeah, this is this is train time. We are we are we are at train time. Train time has begun. Yeah, we've uh we we've done a few things today. Um We've done a few things today on the back of more things that I did in between streams, specifically scaling of things that I did in between streams uh, and uh, preparing for today, like having built naphthalene carbolic factory, a factory just for naphthalene and carbolic here, so I could immediately start the stream by building the organic solvent as an example and having like loads of power ready to go so I don't have to worry about taking the time to build power, etc, etc, etc. So, that is a thing. I, I, I prepared for what we're doing today just a bit. Now we're determining what the rail system is going to look like. Um, so, if I want a gap of one here, 
That means this is the position for this guy. Yes. That is the position for you. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Auto save is not helping. And then just to check. That is correct. So this is my grid. This is the grid. Whoopsies, I didn't Oopsie. It's better. This is why I need to actually, uh, specifically this thing, lock this thing. Uh, lock the placement of this thing. Uh, I will do that. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I need to, I need to snap, uh, and ideally, yeah, now I have to fiddle around with numbers until I get it properly aligned. <sighs> Grid position, 30, 20. Okay, we need to go down. Zero. I need to go up. Two. Okay, we have we have the Y. We're correct on Y. Uh, let's actually just go back to zero. See how far off I am. Um, Sixty. Minus thirty. Minus 45. Oh, 46. Almost there. 56. Sixty-four. Up oh, sixty-two. That's it. Ah! It's not it. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got this mod called Toggle Clear Skies of Peace that uh, shows me all of the spawned chunks. Otherwise, yeah, I don't have any radars right now. Uh, so radars do use some degree of performance. The mod does too, but it's not quite as bad. So yeah, it it mostly performance savings. Yes, it does save some power by not having the robots, but whatever or not having the radars but whatever uh, i need to make the actual square grid size smaller like 300 300 uh which changes these uh and what's the what's the that that's the one um That, I th think, does it. No, not quite. I need to do... 298. 298. Yeah, this is very finicky, I know. I, I understand. Uh, it's off. Still a little bit. Uh...
Ah. I see. That's centered on Y. And that should center on X. No, no, it's not on. I wow, wow, that's why this sucks. Uh, twenty, twenty. that way. Nope. If I mention how finicky this is. Oh, we're almost there. There it is. That's it. That's step one, and then step two is actually aligning the thing. Uh, minus 10 and 10? Uh, 10 and 20. No. What? Negative 20? Negative 10? Negative 4? 2? Okay. Negative 2. Uh, 4. further away. 44. Zero. Negative four. That's it. Negative 14. Yeah, now, now we're getting somewhere. Negative 24. Eight, uh, six. There. Oh my god. It I know that it that takes a while for the blueprint snapping, but once it once you've got it properly aligned, then it's just a matter of just hold shift and drag. And then you just hold shift and drag and yeah. You see how much how easier that is once you have the snapping done? Oh my god. Yeah, once it's dialed in, it becomes that easy. What do you mean? What do you mean going overboard? No, that's it's fine. We're fine. We are. We have enough blueprints there. It's fine. How many uh, thingies do I have? Ninety-two thousand. How many did I just blueprint? Not even that much. I I have blueprinted thirty-eight thousand rails. I have ninety-two thousand. Uh, where is my car? This is. It is time for car signals. I've got 
uh, 12,000. So may maybe not enough of those, but whatever. Oh no, I've got, this only uses uh, 1.3k and 2.3k. So I have enough of those signals as well. However, that being said, I'm going to let the uh, Twitch ads finish and we're at the end of the stream. <laughs> we're at the end of the stream. Oh boy. Ooh, I need a uh, ghost deletion. Uh, where does that live? Go uh, tile ghosts and entity ghosts. Yeah. Yeah, that. I don't even know what's really involved with city block style. I build how I build. I just want it slightly smaller grid size than usual. Normally my grid size is uh, a bit bigger than this. I just wanted to tighten it up a bit. I don't have any restriction for how many factories are going to be in each of these squares. And I have no intention on building in such a way that I maximize the use of the squares. I'm just going to build factories. And if they fit, they fit. If they don't, they don't. And they spill over to the next thing. I just delete whatever's in between and just build a bigger factory. I'll just adjust the sizes as needed or whatever I'm building. That's going to be the plan. So, that is a great time to end things off because uh, off stream, off stream, uh, in between streams, before we next meet, I'm going to be building my rail system. I'm going to be placing my rails and maybe, maybe starting to put some factories on the rails, uh, like moving, moving metal production two rails for example like the lowest hanging fruit stuff getting getting that converted onto rails starting with like my my fuel stations which is just going to be all night it's just going to be all night fueling the trains for now um yeah just just going to be all night fueling the trains pulling the ash out deleting the ash etc and, uh, yeah, just when we come back on Tuesday, I'm going to just be doing that. We're going to be building stuff on the rails. Stuff that we've already done, just on the rails this time. Ideally, higher volume than I had on the bus and on the rails. That'll be, that'll be what we do. It, Essentially, going forward, it's just going to be windows into the build process of converting the stuff that's on the bus onto the train network. It's going to be windows until that's done. And and then I will be doing new stuff on stream, just scaling stuff off screen. Uh, it's just it's going to take a really long time to move and scale stuff. So everything is going to be moving and scaling for a while. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for watching. This has been A Talking Showboat. If you've enjoyed the stream today, do all the social stuff below the video. And I will be back on Tuesday with more. I hope to see you all then.